I enjoy single player games more when I can just sit back and watch my boyfriend do all the work. Oh, what? Is there a problem? Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally rolled out of the way. So you want to run towards the camera. <laughs> oh, no. You fell in the pit. Oh, what the f Jesus, you really got to pay attention. Hey, are you happy? Don't. However, my favorite games are multiplayer games when my boyfriend still does all the work, but also it's take your girlfriend to work day. <laughs> Yay. Oops, sorry. Hey, whoa. <laughs> That's why Halo Infinite was my most anticipated title until they announced it wouldn't have a co-op campaign and retitled it Halo Impotent. It's why I got all excited for Spider-Man 2 after Insomniac made a big hubbub about having two Spider-Mans at the same time, then said, still single player though. Gonna cry? I like Spider-Man. So can you blame me for judging Far Cry 6 by its cover? It says Ubisoft right there! I said to my boyfriend, let me guess. Another lifeless open world full of copy-paste quest design where you constantly abandon the story to pick up worthless collectibles and play dominoes. Meaning everyone watching our video is gonna be looking at me like... Say the line, Bart! Hold up a minute. Yay! But then my boyfriend responded... It's co-op? Shoot, Ubisoft, why didn't you say so? There's no combination of what you could put on the front of a game box and nothing I'd rather see than play a two compressed start. So thank God this isn't a review of Far Cry 6. This is a review of following my boyfriend around in the co-op mode of this kind of bad game that's better when we're together. Yeah, we'll blow up some cars when we're together. Oh my god, I just, what is happening? I'm what coming. Is, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know lots of people are complaining that Far Cry 6 is too much Far Cry, not enough Far Cry, but I won't be comparing Far Cry 6 to the other Far Cries because I have no idea what Far Cry is. <laughs> From what I've gathered, it's another innovative and beloved franchise that's become repetitive and bemoaned. Some developers find a formula that just works and cook batch after batch, same recipe, different flavor, until no matter how they spice it up, gamers will still say it tasted stale and that they found bugs in it. Why is your blue dot flying all over my screen? What is going on? These are what I call fast food video games, and Ubisoft is Mickey D's. So I get the complaints, because what's happening to the Far Cry series is a tale as old as time, no longer in its prime, like Assassin's Creed. Oh, you look so, so stupid. Having said that, now that I've roasted Ubisoft and got all the review bombers clapping, let me just lock the doors and close the blinds before I say this. Far Cry 6 was a really fun game. Far Cry 3 is ah! better! Just hear me out. Far Cry 6 was my first bite of a McUbisoft poison burger, so it's Far Cry 1 to me! Well, I don't care, you're mad! Well, just in case people do get mad, though, I'm gonna... Armed. Stay. Alright, but why is this game so good? Okay, I mean fun. Why is this game so fun? Well, sometimes the reason a game is fun is because it's not so good. Your parachute is still out right now. You're just, you're just. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> and Far Cry 6 is so not so good that it's so good. Okay, here I go. Uh oh. Oh Lord. Oh God, I can't get through here. I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh no, I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> For example, playing a fishing mini game for crafting materials, not so good. Seeing the same NPC everywhere you go, not so good. Encountering horrific AI and goofy physics constantly, not so good. But watch what happens when Ubisoft masterfully combines those three flaws. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Oh my god, he's looking at me with binoculars. Let me see if I can melee him. <gasps> oh my god, he's fine. He's good. He went, mmm. What? He said, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <gasps> you killed him! What kind of lure are you what? using? Don't worry, baby. I won't let anything bad happen to you. This is our secret. Thank Don't you. tell anybody. <laughs> Just uh, stay here. NPC! What is the secret of your power? Something hilarious is wrong with this game that brought us way more joy than anything Ubisoft did on purpose. Tina, for the love of God, turn away or stop! Hit the brakes! Uh. 
Oh my god, it's bad. I ruined the car. The best puzzle in Far Cry 6 was figuring out how to get this lady around this fence. Ow, what oh, the hell? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> now, obviously, something hilarious is wrong. Help! But I'll remember Stupid Fence Lady way longer than I'll remember. Um, uh, okay, give me another one. Uh, another one. I uh, know. Not ringing a bell. NPC. Sorry to this man. Nah. -uh. Turns out I wasn't paying attention. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Oh yeah, you and Lita? Okay, bye. <laughs> Interesting story. Which brings us to my first critique. The characters in Far Cry 6 are really, really bad. Not like, who's bad? But like, who's bad? Idea was this. The story is about the conditions that lead to the rise of fascism, the costs of imperialism, forced labor, LGBTQ rights, and the need for free and fair elections. Then the characters terrorize Latin America with bootleg fireworks, and everyone's favorite song is Livin' La Vida Loca. Livin' La Vida Loca. Let's just listen to this together. That'd be nice. Upside, inside out. Even the stellar performance of Giancarlo Giuseppe Alessandro Esposito with all his devilish yet dapper appeal could not get me invested in this super serious narrative. Imagine watching one of Breaking Bad's season finales, but Walt's iconic Heisenberg hat is from Disneyland, Jesse is a dachshund, and they're in a ski doo which they take off a really sweet jump, causing a zany accident right in front of three Mike Ehrman trouts who do not react. A horse launches into space, then Gus Fring arrives. He's furious and starts to monologue, but you can't stop laughing about that ski do stuff, and a little pee pee comes out. <laughs> Playing Far Cry is like giggling your way from ride to ride at a carnival. I want to check this out. Cool. And the cutscenes are like entering that tent at the carnival where a scary man tells you to join the army. Maybe it's just me. I promise I tried hearing this story out, but as soon as we unlocked co-op mode, I was like, <laughs> my friends are here. Oh, cool. So, see you later. <laughs> In conclusion, the story might have sharded itself. I don't know, I wasn't listening, but that didn't stop Far Cry 6 from being the most gut-bustingly fun weekend of gaming I've had all year. <laughs> now, there's no friendly fire, but what if I shoot your horse? Oh, stop, stop, But what stop, if I just stop. kill your horse, though? What stop. happens? Oh my god. <laughs> I am dying. Last ditch effort, here we go. Okay. <gasps> it did nothing. I'm about to shoot this lady. <gasps> she disappeared. <gasps> oh my god. Um. <laughs> you know what else is gut-bustingly fun? Taking a class on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes for anything you might be interested in. I might be interested in watching Queer Eyes, so I was super excited to see Jonathan Van Ness has a Skillshare class called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook. Discover and nurture your centered self. From music to web development and everything in between, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning. That means no ads and new premium classes all the time. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can take the first step to accomplishing your goals and exploring your creativity. Big thanks to brands like Skillshare for helping support our channel and to our viewers for giving them a try. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Next up, we have Resident Evil 4 VR version, which is really cool. And then after that, it's our 100th episode of Girlfriend Reviews. So please let us know how we should celebrate. Okay, thanks. Bye.